All right, Dan, we're going to open up the Vixen software. For you, you're going to be doing a new sequence, and then you're going to want to do the standard sequence. I've got one that's already done here that I'm going to load up for us and show you what it looks like inside. After when you get this, um, all these boxes in the middle are going to be blank. Um, from there, you're going to have all your channels listed down the left-hand column, and the time is listed across the top. The channels in the left hand column you can right click or click on them and name individual channels and then you can color code them. The first green set here I have is my mega tree. Then I have my small little bushes. Then I have my happy holiday sign. And then the white ones down here at the bottom, these are all empty. Nothing's in them yet. To turn a light or a channel on and off, you can right click and turn on, or you can simply press the space bar and that'll turn that set of lights on. You can highlight a couple and do the same thing if you want. Once you uh, get this part of it on here, uh, and you want to add some music to your sequence, just click on Sequence, go down to Music. Here you're going to assign a song. From there, as soon as you do that, then the Visualizer button, the Audio Visualizer button up near the top here, will turn on. You can click that. What it's going to do up here across the top of your page, it's going to load in the, the beat of the sound. You'll see like the blue across the top of there. That's going to help you when you come to um, set your music up. So you'll see here some of these lights like that I have going here, you know, different colors and whatnot. Those are just all different sequences of light. You'll find that probably for about a minute of music it takes about one or two hours at least for programming. After you've uh, added the music, you have a couple things in here. The next thing you want to do is click on the attached plugins. So in the upper right upper left corner. <clears throat> Here I want to make sure from the left hand column that you pick adjustable preview and then whatever controller card you're using Olsen 95 or whatnot. And then you're going to put use and so that they show up in the right hand column. In the right hand column put a check mark beside adjustable preview, leave all the other 